my channel in today's video i am going to uh, teach you how to make a burmese sarong the uh, sarong i am wearing i will guide you step by step how to make uh, this uh, sarong so um, i have done one uh, previous video about sarong and this uh, skirt i made basically for the memory of one of my friend and she has um, um, passed away unfortunately she's not with us so she was my really dear friend so she gave me a few fabrics she always liked me to make um, uh, sarong for her so um, I have uh, three fabrics from her and um, um, now I made one sarong and just to wear it for the description purposes and this is not my type of uh, clothing and she loved to uh, wear in their monastery so I have two more fabrics I will show you if anyone interested to buy this skirt and this uh, two fabric which are open is totally from the Burma so contact me and uh, the money uh, will be collected I will give it to the charity in her monastery so let's uh, dive into our video today so okay we need a zip a measuring tape and uh, pins scissors and fabric of your choice this is a traditional Burmese um, fabric for making uh, sarong so if you have the fabric then it's good to go it's about two meters of fabric um, 96 centi uh, so, uh, nine, yeah 96 centimeters and 98 centimeters so um, basically um, one meter long and two meter wide so i will explain you on the piece of paper first so let's draw this wrong it basically look like a long skirt and the fabric they possibly burmese people use they is that is a cotton not stretchy fabric so this is how it looks like you need to have your waist measurement uh, whatever your waist is i am taking 16 inches from front and 16 from the back and then you need a hip measurement and this is a knee measurement where you need to give a slight uh, decrease the um, decrease the width so it give you a good shape then you need total length total length of your skirt and this is a hip measurement hip measurement is normally down waist about 10 at least 10 inches down then it start widening up and give a nice um, a long uh, shape so this is how our skirt will look like so now i simply place the skirt i have on my uh, top first of all i'm going to cut the back part of this skirt and uh, when you are marking give like a 0.5 or at least one inches extra fabric for the seam allowance leave extra fabric because this fabric has no stretch so you must leave the seam allowance So now after cutting we will have one part of our skirt ready so this is a front part and now I have uh, uh, quite enough piece so I can easily cut the two pieces from there so I'm going to cut the front part of the uh, skirt and as you can see the front part has more design like a border so i want the front part uh, this border part in the front so i'm going to simply place this um, um, back pattern which i have already cut mark it again and i will cut the one cut one more part for the skirt as you um, know i have shown you before that these sarongs they normally have front two overlapping part one part longer per one and one is smaller one so they both uh, basically overlap two parts so um, now I'm cutting second part of the skirt and now we have a front and back parts ready and uh, I'm going to cut now third part which is uh, will be overlap with another part so as you can see this is a part which is overlapping so I'm going to cut one more part now okay. 
now for this uh, front part after uh, i will measure seven inches six or seven inches is totally up to you how much you want to fold so uh, this part will be straight like this so um, this third part one side will be like the shape of a skirt and one part will be straight and i'm marking it again and i will simply cut now this front part this is how it looks like one side is straight and one is curved now i'm going to place this uh, front part first so this is how the our front part this is how i want the front part one is a border part three quarter of a the uh, overlapping one and um, the uh, underneath one i left straight and first of all i'm going to simply fold this part and then we will overlap them right facing right side each other so i have quite enough fabric so i simply go ahead and i will cut a strip of two inches wide fabric and then i will be um, folding i will be using that strip for uh, the front part Now I have a, a strip, two inches wide strip, and uh, uh, I'm going to fix it on the right side of the fabric, and then after stitching, I will fold it um, inside. So in this way, we will have a good strength of the front part when it will hang out. Now I have attached two inches wide strip and now I'm folding it back side. So uh, we will have a, a strip in the front and now I'm going to stitch it. now our front part is ready and i'm going to uh, start fixing this skirt so this is how our skirt will look like so i'm placing the way front part will look like this overlapping and make sure the border match with each other if it's uh, something up and down that will go on the top so we can adjust later on so i'm going to fix that this is a front part overlapping one and now this is a back part i will be facing right side each other and i will fix with the pins and then i will mark it before i start stitching i'm just fixing it so now one side we will leave 10 inches for the zip because we are going to add invisible zip and now i start marking the from um, after leaving the space for the zip so we know that where we are stitching now i have done stitching and i'm going to turn it inside out so this is how our skirt looks like at the moment so this is a one part is open so basically i stitch bo um, both sides and now um, I have to do um, make the side of the skirt separate because it has supposed to be overlapping one so make sure do not cut the both part 
right near the edge carefully cut the part which is attached and now we will um, have our overlapping front but uh, we will be leaving at least seven inches from the top we will leave it stitched so i have cut this uh, this much and uh, now i'm going to uh, hem this part which is cut so it's up to seven inches i left it attached and rest is open so our legs can move easily and now i'm going to hem this part now i am simply folding as small as uh, as much i can so uh, this cut edge they all go in just 0.5 centimeter or even less just hem this part which we recently cut so hemming of this part done and the rest is attached so our skirt is now in this shape and now I'm going to fix the front part which is overlapping from the top I will just uh, fix it with the pin first and 10 inches we are going to stitch this is a zip part on the side and this front part I'm going to stitch I'm taking it again under my sewing machine So I'm going to stitch this front part from the top down 10 inches. I will come down right at the edge, just cut, uh, stitch 10 inches where we marked with the chalk and the rest will be open and uh, do reverse stitch and uh, this stitch has been done. So now it is time to attach the zip. Zip is quite long but I will cut the rest because I have a smaller one. So I will cut the rest. So I'm going to fix this first with my needle and thread. If you have a sticky tape you can use that sticky tape as well. But I'm using my needle to fix this um, uh, zip first and then I will take it under the sewing machine. I have done one uh, video previously. Um, I will add the link below where I have uh, described in detail how to attach invisible zip. This is um, uh, our invisible zip and I will cut the rest after I use yellow thread so you can see. Now I'm going to change foot of the machine and I'm going to add zipper foot. This is an invisible zipper foot and I will simply just uh, uh, clip it on in my machine. And I will make sure that I stitch as much closer to the zip so uh, zip is because it's an invisible zip so there shouldn't be much space so this is our uh, foot from one side I'm be uh, stitching and then I will be stitching from another side now I'm going to use another uh, zipper foot which is a narrow one because I'm going to uh, fold this zip part inside now the extra fabric so um, the stitching will be neat and zip will not keep hanging out so I just fold the extra part in and as much as close I can go to the zip so I will uh, use my zipper foot and I will stitch nearby now our zip is attached and this is time to make a belt so I will cut the extra zip now because it's safe and I have stitched it and now I'm going to cut the uh, belt um, of this uh, skirt
So now I'm going to cut three inches wide strip because I have quite enough fabric. You can use a different color fabric as well, black color, color if you run out of fabric, but I have enough fabric. So I'm going to use the same strip. I just cut three inches wide strip and I'm going to um, fix it, start stitching from the right side and then I will be folding inside. Fix it with the pins and then I will take it under sewing machine. I have attached the strip and now I'm going to fold it inside. So we will have a strong uh, uh, belt at the top. So I have stitched this belt and now it is ready to um, go. Our skirt is almost done. You can add a hook at the top of the um, um, skirt if you want. So this is how our skirt looks like. I just put it on to show you and to make the video for you so you can see. Hope you enjoy this video. And these are the two fabrics which I was talking about. It's very nice thick cotton and it's a three meters wide fabric. It's a black and red border. If uh, you like this one, one is this piece and um, this is another one. And let me know if you want to buy these fabrics and uh, these are for uh, typically for sarong and I will see you all in my next video bye